Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my investing videos. My name is Mark and in this video I am going to talk about the option caller strategy that I set up with my money with uh, US Steel, ticker symbol X right here. And down here I got uh, a bunch of calls and puts on Microsoft which I'm not going to talk about, that's my spread and I'm about broken even on that so far. But let's take a look at Steel. This is my option caller setup. And I'm going to show you why I really like the option caller. So right here is my 200 shares of Steel. Uh, that's the shares that I own. And then down here are my options. So uh, first, this one right here. These are my $20 put options that I bought to open. These are the $24 call options that I sold to open. And then these are $16 puts that I sold to open just a few days ago because the price of steel dropped. And so that gave me an opportunity to sell steel at the same expiration that my calls expire. So I put it all in PowerPoint so that it's easier to follow. So here it is. On March the 12th, 2019, I bought 200 shares, uh, uh, but... During the video, I'm going to talk about this like I bought 100 shares because it's easier to explain 100 shares and then you can just double everything and that's that's uh, the performance that I am, that's how I'm performing. So uh, we'll make believe that I just bought 100 shares, but I really bought 200 shares. So on March the 12th, and maybe I should uh, go to the transactions so that you can see for yourself. And let me filter it and put in X because I did a lot of trading on my spread. Okay, here it is. So and this is because of a mouse error, uh, but it averaged out to 200 shares at $20.66. But because I put in a mouse error, I accidentally um, deleted the order and I had to, and, and 35 shares got bought before the order got canceled. Uh, but just know that I bought 200 shares and average price dollar cost average twenty dollars and sixty six cents and then I immediately bought to open two put options at three hundred ninety nine dollars and then I sold to open a two call options uh, twenty four dollars strike price and those expire in two months so the put expires January 15 2021 that's a leap and the call expires in two months and that is the classic set or I won't say the classic that's the way that I prefer to set up my option callers buy a stock buy to open puts that don't expire for a long time and then sell the open shorter term puts so that I take advantage of theta and then that was on the 12th and then on the 22nd which was just a few days ago I sold a couple put options at $16, okay? And the reason why I chose $16 is because I have $20 puts that I spent $399, which is $4 a share, or, or I should actually I should say $4 lower strike price. So $16 is my break even price on my $20 puts. If my, uh, I keep saying Microsoft, if steel were to go below $16 a share, then I would make a clean profit uh, because I would I spent $3.99 for $20 puts, but I'm selling $16 puts, and that's a $4 gap, and I spent $3.99, and then all this premium which I collected, you see the green numbers, that would be complete profit for me. And so if steel does by some wacky chance goes down that much, I mean that's that's like 20% hedge there if it does go back down there then I can easily sell these puts make a nice profit the puts will be worth over six hundred dollars and then I can buy some lower puts drastically lowering my dollar cost average here uh, on steel but let's look at the PowerPoint so that you can see how the option caller works so the first thing that I did was I bought the stock my dollar cost average is twenty dollars and sixty six cents then I bought the open $20 puts, and those expire in January 2021, 
that is 22 months from now and I spent $399 for those and then I sold the open $24 call options those expire in two months why did I pick $24 well the reason is because I have $20 my dollar cost average is $20 and 66 cents so I have to add this number 399 which is uh, almost four dollars a share three dollars and ninety nine cents a share and that gives me twenty four dollars and sixty five cents and so by choosing the twenty four dollar call option if steel and really if you want to get down to the basics steel needs to go above twenty dollars and sixty five cents and that's my break even price on the upside so I put it in another slide so for this setup here for the for the shares of steel my dollar cost twenty dollars and sixty six cents and then the put options that I bought twenty dollars uh, $20 strike price at three hundred ninety nine dollars and then the twenty four dollar calls that I sold to open and those expire in May and I got fifty three dollars uh, these are the bare basics here so my maximum risk on the trade right now the way that it's set up at that time four hundred sixty six dollars why is that because my dollar cost average is twenty dollars and sixty six cents the puts that I bought were twenty dollars so I have to subtract sixty twenty sixty six I have to subtract twenty dollars from twenty dollars and sixty six and that gives me the sixty six dollars and then I have to add that to the three hundred and ninety nine dollars that I spent because that's part of my overall setup so I add those two together, and that gives me 460, actually 465. Let me change that. $465 is my maximum risk. That's within the time period of 22 months. Now, because it's $465, then that gives me a dollar cost average of $20. Or actually, take that back. Uh, my dollar cost average because I'm spending three hundred and ninety nine dollars even though my dollar cost average is twenty six twenty dollars and sixty six cents I am adding the cost of the puts to the cost of my dollar cost average because in order for me to make money if steel on the upside if steel would go up is that steel would have to go up enough money to so that if the shares got called away for some reason which they never do. I, I've sold covered calls before and I, I've traded options for several years and I've only been exercised once. It rarely happens, almost never. Uh, but it, if the shares did get called away, because I spent $399, I have to add that to the dollar cost average, $20.66, which means that the safe, the safe price for me to sell calls at would be near that new dollar cost. So 2066 plus 399 equals $424.65. So that's my actual dollar cost average. And all of this needs to happen within 22 months because that's how long that my put options expire. Now the basic idea of this option caller stuff that you see here even though it sounds like a big headache is very simple okay now a lot of people they love to buy stock right but if you just bought a stock uh, which is what the most people do in the world then the only way you can make money is if the stock goes up and if the stock crashes and if we look at steel right now right now steel actually has gone down from my original dollar cost average so if I would have simply bought steel at $20.66 and, you know, I bought 200 shares, uh, that's uh, what, $134. So I would be down 134 times 2. I'd be down $268. But look at the value of the two put options here. Okay, my put options went up from $399. Uh, the bid... 455 the ask 470 so let's say 460 so my put options went up $60 and by the way 
if I would have just bought the put options, that's a 30% return. My, the value of my puts went up 30%. So that little tidbit fact alone should convince you that stock options are a very powerful way not just to make money, but also to prevent you from losing money on a stock that you want to own, which is the point of this option caller. So if we go back uh, to my position here, okay, steals all the way down to 1932, but my puts went up $60, okay, and look at my the value of my calls here. Uh, my $24 calls are right here. Remember, I got $53 for those. Those are now at $19. So those, uh, I sold to open these covered calls, these call options. And so those are short calls that I own. I didn't buy these calls. I shorted them. So 53 minus 19, that's another $34 profit. So I can add 60 plus 34, that's $94 in profit that I made, okay? So remember that number, $94. Now, uh, if I would have just owned these shares and I bought it at my dollar cost average, $20.66, I'd be down $134. But I made $94 in profit in my puts and in my covered calls. So instead of losing $100, and $34, I'm only down $40 per hundred shares. That's what option callers, that's why I do the option callers, because I can own a stock like U.S. Steel, which by the way, uh, if we were to look at steel, let me go to my chart here, okay? Steel is not a stock that's for the faint of heart, okay? Let, let's take a look at steel, and by the way, I'm taking a long position in steel, so let me look up ticker symbol X and let's pull up the chart here and uh, here is still right here and let's look at the last year this is the one year chart okay so in the last year it's gone down from $38 and then it hit this level at about $28 and then it hit this level at $24 continuing to make lower highs it's actually on a bear trend uh, in just in the last year. And look how much it's gone down. It's gone from 38 all the way down to 19. That's half of its value. Uh, so imagine that if you would have bought steel way up here at 38, and now you're down to $19 a share. Uh, you know, you invest $10,000, you'd be down to $5,000. But if you... Uh, use the option caller strategy and you set it up you buy the shares and then you buy to open some puts and then you sell to open some calls now we're talking because now when the stock drops down like in my situation uh, my dollar cost average twenty dollars and sixty six cents I'd be down hundred and thirty four dollars but I'm only down forty dollars times two remember this video uh, I'm acting like I bought 100 shares, but really it's 200. So I'm down $80 after buying steel at $20. Let me filter this. Put in ticker symbol X. $20.66. Remember my mouse there. $20.66 a share. Now, all the way down to $19.32. So I would be suffering a lot more than I am now. I can handle going down $80. I mean, and uh, one, of, one of the big secrets or, or one of the big factors of being successful in this business, in, in the stocks or options, investing or trading, is when you're wrong. When you, when you, get it wrong I bought steel because I thought it was gonna go up and the reason why I thought it was gonna go up is because if I go to a longer time frame steel is actually a ranging stock and so I just felt that it you know it's near its long range bottom and I just felt that it go up but so far it has not gone up it's gone down a little bit 
But that's why I bought it because in in the big picture, steel is a ranging stock. It's it's not on a bear trend. It's just on the low end of its range. And I, I do not believe it's going to go all the way to zero. I, would, I wouldn't I would buy the stock if I did. I mean, we're talking about United States Steel. You know, it's like the biggest steel company in the country. So that's why I bought steel. But obviously, I got it wrong. And if I was a day trader or if I was an investor, I would just be losing money. But because I did the option caller strategy... And I bought to open these $20 puts, and I sold to open the, 20, the $24 calls. And finally, here, as we near the end of this video, I sold to open these $16 puts to bring in extra income, to bring in some extra money to pay for the puts. So that if we look at my transactions here, and we, again, filter it into steel, this is all the income that I'm making. These green numbers, 97, this is all by 200 shares, plus 69 is $166 starting from March the 12th. So in the first two months and week, I'm going to make 166 That's an average of about $80 a month. Okay. Now, if I make $80 a month, okay, just on average, and I'm able to get out of these positions before steel goes above or below these strike prices. And I'm making an average of $80 a month. In the next 22 months, 80 times 20 months, that's $1,600. And an extra two months, that would be $1,760 uh, that I would make. So cut that in half. And that's about... Uh, what half of eighteen hundred would be nine hundred dollars? So eight hundred and eighty dollars I would make on this four hundred dollar investment. So if steel were to just kind of flounder and I were to make that money, then that would cover my maximum risk. My maximum risk. Uh, let me go back to my PowerPoint here. Four hundred sixty-five dollars. So if I can make eight hundred and eighty dollars then I will have a very good return that that would be a very nice return for me on my uh, two thousand dollar investment and I'm able to make four hundred dollars uh, that would be about a ten percent return annually and that's what you can expect. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me put that back in. That's what you can expect. That's the kind of return that you can expect. An average of about 10% return on an option caller. And that is on a stock like steel, which is really volatile. Of course, if steel goes up, my return will be better. So hopefully, steel at some point will go up. But if it doesn't, I'm still going to sleep well at night knowing that I'm going to make some money before this is all said and done and this put expires the option caller is a very safe way to make money and that's what I'm doing that's how I'm doing on my money uh, stocks down a little bit but I'm only down eighty dollars and I can live with that so that's it for this video thank you for watching and uh, I hope you can make heads and tails of all the ramblings I feel like that I can kind of went all over the place during the video, but if you have any questions or anything that you don't understand, feel free to leave a comment or ask a question. And as always, I pretty much answer all my comments. And uh, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, I hope you have a good day.